Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're going to learn to avoid some common mistakes. So let's get started. First, this is not correct. <laughs> Why do you giggle? I want to study. I cannot say, Why do you giggle? I want to study. Why not? Because it's in the moment. In the moment, we use a continuous action. Not for all verbs, but most verbs. And giggle is one of them. Giggle is like to laugh a little bit. <laughs> That's giggle. And when you use the verb giggle and it's in the moment, you have to use a continuous form. Giggling. Pronunciation. Giggling. Giggling. Put the stress on the first syllable. Giggling. So it should be, why are you giggling? I'm trying to study. Giggling is a form of laughing that's not too loud. So remember, in the moment, use a continuous action for most verbs. Example, he's giggling. He's laughing a little bit. Let's practice. What is he doing? Is he giggling? That's right, he's giggling. This is also not correct. As we get close to Christmas, people go out a lot because of the holidays. It's just a very lovely period. I cannot say Christmas is a lovely period. It's a lovely period. We can't say that. We can use period to talk about time. Example, a period in time, in history. You're talking about months, years, decades, something like that. But it's not a seasonal time. A period is not a seasonal time. So what do we say? We say Christmas is a lovely time or Christmas is a lovely time of the year. But we cannot say Christmas is a lovely period. That sounds weird. So I can say Christmas is a lovely time of the year. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think Christmas is a lovely time of the year? Very good. This is also not correct. And on the other side, we have the Hyde Park, which is a very huge park, but honestly, I've never been there. I cannot say the Hyde Park. Why not? Because Hyde Park is a name. It's the name of the park. It's a proper noun. We cannot use the article the with proper nouns. We cannot use the with this proper noun. If I have a name of a park, I have to say Hyde Park. He's at Hyde Park. Or I can use the preposition in. He's in Hyde Park. What if I take away the name Hyde and I just say park? Well, that's okay. You have to use an article with park. If it's one in general, it's a park. Or if it's specific, the park. The park is more common. I'm going to the park. Or I can say this is a nice park. But I cannot say the Hyde Park because it's a name. We cannot use the article the with a name. Example, Hyde Park is a popular park in London. Let's practice. What is Hyde Park? Is Hyde Park a popular park in London? That's right. Hyde Park is a popular park in London. This is also not correct. Idiom number three, all the bells and whistles. Now this one is very Christmassy. It means with a lot of extra fancy features. All the bells and whistles. The new Tesla Cybertruck has all the bells and whistles. It means it has a lot of fancy features. I cannot say all the bells and whistles. The word is not pronounced whistles, it's pronounced whistles. It's a different sound. For the word whistle, we cannot use the short e eh sound like eggs and bed, whistle. We have to use the short I, I sound like this is wi, whistle all the bells and whistles it means all the fancy things that can come with it let's talk about the pronunciation of whistle we see the h is silent so we have w, w, wi use the short i like this is wi whistle the t is silent and the le is pronounced ul ul like in words little and table Together, whistle, whistle. Use the dark L, whistle. So example, the car comes with all the extra things, all the extra fancy things. So I use the expression, the car comes with all the bells and whistles. Let's practice. Does the car come with all the bells and whistles? That's right, the car comes with all the bells and whistles. 
all the fancy extra things. This is also not correct. So it's basically like a party, but a party for eating. You prepare a lot of different and tasty and succulent dishes. I cannot say a lot of food. A lot of food? The vowel is a short ah, like hot and stop. Not the sound ah, like law and automobile, but the sound ah. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of food. And remember, the sound v in a lot of is not always heard. If it's before a consonant, sometimes it disappears. You hear a lot of food, a lot of, a lot of cars. Before a consonant, you don't hear the v, usually. A lot of cars. You can say a lot of cars, but you'll hear a lot of, a lot of cars, because it's before a consonant. But what if it's before a vowel? Example, a lot of apples. Well, if it's before a vowel, you have to pronounce the v sound. A lot of apples. A lot of apples. Let's practice. Are there a lot of cars? That's right. There are a lot of cars. What about apples? Starts with a vowel, so you need to pronounce the v. A lot of apples. Are there a lot of apples? That's right, there are a lot of apples. Remember, for the O in lot, it's the short ah sound like hot and stop. A lot of, or a lot of, before a consonant. This is also not correct. An important holiday is coming up. Do you know what it is? Listen, listen. Can you hear it? You don't know what that is? The word is not lesson. We cannot use the short e eh sound like bed and red. We have to use the short i. Eh is sound like this is. L listen. Listen to me. Listen to your teacher. Use the I sound. Listen. Because if I say lesson, that's a different word. You need to do your lesson. Do your English lesson. And listen to the teacher. Also, don't say this. I mean, she gets in my hair all the time. She touches your hair. Oh, no, idiot. She gets under my skin. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, come on. She's always annoying me. Don't say she gets in my hair to mean she's annoying. This is an old expression. You'll find it in the dictionary, but nobody says it anymore. The only example I could find was from the 1800s. So it's very old. And in the dictionary, it says... Informal, old-fashioned. I've never heard this expression in my life, and I'm 52 years old, so don't use it. Say she's annoying. Don't say she gets in my hair. Don't use old expressions from two centuries ago. Also, don't say this. Hey, how's your business going? Well, I don't know how to explain. I'm in the soup. Huh, soup. Are you hungry? No, I mean, I'm in a pickle. Pickle. Soup. You are hungry. No, no, no. I mean, I'm in a jam. Jam, pickle, soup. Ugh, diddly mix. I'm not eating that. I'm not talking about food. I'm saying I'm in a difficult situation. Don't say I'm in the soup. This is another expression from the 1800s. It's the only place I could find it online. Other than other non-native speakers teaching this expression. So it's in the dictionary. But again, it's from the 1800s. Nobody says this expression anymore. So don't use it. People won't understand you. If you're in a difficult situation, don't say I'm in the soup. It's an old, old expression. I had never heard it before I watched this video. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.